suspicious. In this video, I'm just going to go over a slight update to the Gankalorian build, uh, which is currently my favorite uh, bow gank build so far. And uh, I also want to make this just to go into a little bit more detail on the skills, passives, and uh, the items I'm using. So let's get into it. Um, running a Khajiit, which honestly, uh, the race really isn't going to matter too much. I've ran this on my Argonian as well, and he does does pretty good also, just uh, not as sneaky as the Khajiit is. I'm using Tristat food. I just like to have a little extra Magicka. Um, if you want to run, you know, something with more Magicka recovery, you know, that's good as well. I just like to have the, the, a bigger Magicka pool. Um, stage 4 fan... Stage 4... I can't talk anymore. What, what, what's happening? Uh, <laughs> Alright, so stage 4 vampirism. Um, mainly for the Darkstalker passive. Um, I'm using Lover Mundus with mostly all divines. Uh, ideally, you want to do all divines so you get as much uh, penetration as possible. And I'm getting minor protection from the Temporal Guard ability. Uh, so here we go. Here's the stats buffed. Stealth. It's nothing too crazy. <coughs> Excuse me. Nothing too crazy. Weapon damage. 4,887, um, uh, stamina recovery is at 1,489, and magicka recovery 812. It's not too bad, um, but seems to work out for me. Uh, you got you know with a uh, continuous, you're gonna have like 51, 5200 uh, weapon damage. All right, so let's get into the items. Alright, so first up I got New Moon Acolyte Bow on my front bar. I went with Nernhone. I have a Sharpened as well, but I, I just seem to have more success with using the Nernhone. I'm using Double Dot Poisons. And when I'm uh, when they're unslotted, I have a Prismatic Glyph on my, on my bow, which uh, deals a good amount of damage to, you know, vampires and stuff like that. Um... But honestly, I have a lot. I like using these double dots a lot more. But let's say, for example, you're you're attacking somebody at a temple, or he's a vampire. You know that you put dots on them; they're just going to purify it. So you want a little bit more burst. These things can uh, take somebody out pretty quick. He's a vampire, especially another um, another nightblade or squishy nightblade. Uh, for the back bar, I'm using a model of potentates. Um, so. The two piece from Potentates uh, reduce your damage taken from players by 5%. So you got this and the Temporal Guard, which gives you uh, minor protection. So it's a total of 12%. And I went with a Maul, so that way all my dots I have on somebody uh, still get that 20% uh, that penetration bonus from the two-handed line. Uh, for poisons on the back bar, <laughs> I, I kind of just threw these on here. Uh, normally I don't even run anything on there, but uh, I'm kind of experimenting with these. Um, brutality Draining Poisons uh, inflicts minor maim to your target and grants you minor brutality, reducing their damage by 15% and increasing your weapon damage by 10% for 5.5 seconds. Um, this is like one of the only changes from the uh, Gankalorian that I've done so far. I swapped out Slime Crawl and replaced it with one Crags and one Veladreth. And I'm running uh, 7 medium for the passives, which I'll get into a little bit later. Uh, for the most part, everything's uh, got st stamina glyphs on there, except for my legs. I just wanted a little bit more uh, magicka and health. And then the jewelry is going to be all infused weapon damage. Alright, and one more thing is potions. Uh... I recommend you always carry around detect pots, uh, just in case you run across it. You know other other gankers out there, or you know night blades and stuff in general. Uh, ideally, uh, I like to have the ones that uh, increase your stealth detection and give you uh, magic back. But I ran out of those. Um, it's always a good idea to carry on trash pots, just so you can build your ultimate 
um, you know, while you're not fighting or on the way to a fight. Um, I use the, I use a lot of these uh, tripods as well, like while I'm fighting and stuff. So that's what I'm using as far as gear goes. All right, so let's go into skills. So for the front bar, we got lethal arrow. It's my favorite ability in the game. Just kidding. All right, and uh, I went with lethal arrow because I like the idea that you know it applies a poison status effect on somebody and inflicts them with a minor defile. Although minor defile is not as good as you know when we used to have major defile, it's still pretty decent. Um, then I'm gonna be using poison injection. I uh, like this as an execute. Um, again, I'm using this. I get asked this all the time. Why don't you use like silver shards? Well, it's because I'm using the marksman set, and I like the fact that this uses a little bit less uh, stamina, and it just seems to flow better when I do my combo. I'm not sure why. It's just kind of like a personal preference, and I kind of like having like another dot on somebody, like a, you know, when you hit somebody on a wall and they back up. Sometimes you know the the dots finish them off. Uh, I have turn evil on my bar um, as like a CC, you know, another kind of escape tool. Or if you, let's say you dot somebody up, you have the toxic barrage. They got that dot ticking on them, and then you fear them in that, you know, while they're getting melted by the dots. Sometimes that can uh, kill them too. Um, sometimes I'll swap this out for magnum shot, but again, they can dodge magnum shot. They can't dodge this. Uh, Reaper's Mark. Um, this is kind of a flex spot. You just want to make sure you have something from the assassination line, only because the hemorrhage passive. Uh, with an assassination ability slotted, increase your crit damage by 10%. So that's just kind of kind of a flex spot. Just uh, I, I kind of. I mean, you could put the the mark on there, the, the piercing mark, whatever you want to call it. I just went with this one because I like, like, if I'm taking structures by myself or something like that, I like to put this on guards. It's kind of like an extra heal. And then that major berserk on top of that when you kill something is, is pretty nice sometimes. Um, then I went with a camouflaged hunter. Um, it's kind of nice to have another way to uh, detect stealth enemies aside from potions in case you know your potion timer is not up yet uh, but the main reason is for um, while slotted you gain major savagery so it increases your crit chance and then you also gain ma uh, minor berserk for five seconds after you attack an enemy from their flank and then uh, for the ultimate I went with toxic barrage uh, the poison on this thing the dot afterwards is pretty damn nice I've killed a, quite a few people uh, that would have gotten away with this dot. And don't forget, uh, you can move at full speed and you're immune to disabling effects while channeling this attack. So, like a Dragon Knight, for example, if they leap you, you're not going to get CC'd while you're using this, but you might get melted by that Dragon Knight. Alright, so back bar. Uh, cloak. Um, this is another reason why I went with uh, New Moon on the front front bar and then not on the back bar, so that way I don't have an extra 5% applied to, to Cloak. Um, one thing to remember though is this. This is like a little tip. So you're sitting here, you Cloak, right? Three seconds goes by, your guy's going to unhide automatically. So this is just something to note. Cloak and then Crouch. See how I did that? So let's say you're running from somebody, pop in your speed, cloak, crouch while running. So that way you kind of stay stealth. So just make sure you don't do it this way. Cloak. So you pop out. So you just got to remember to crouch while you're doing it. Um, leeching strikes. Uh, kind of like this to help with the... Uh, the stamina regen and I, I like it too because you know while I'm running around I run around a lot 
while in close or in uh, hidden. And when you do this, it kind of lets you not, you know, you're not going to waste any stamina while you're moving around. So if you're stalking a group of people or, or players, you can, you know, stay on the move and not have to worry about using potions and all that stuff. So that way, you, if you're on your way to a fight, you get there full stamina. Um, I went with channel deceleration because I just like the 12 seconds of major expedition. And I like the fact that you have minor force for 36 seconds because there's a lot of times where I'm fighting people, you know, defending a, a, a keep or something, and, you know, I don't have time to keep reapplying buffs and stuff. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, rally. So, yeah, I went with rally. Just kind of like our own. Our only heal, aside from the um, Reaper's Mark. But this has saved me quite a few times. More times than forward momentum has, so it's not bad. And, you know, obviously for the major brutality. And this slot is kind of a, a flex spot, but I kind of I, I like, I like the uh, extra speed you get from this passive, or from this ability while slotted. Your movement speed while sneaking or invisible is increased by 25%. Um, so yeah, it's obviously not going to do as much, near as much damage as, uh, damage as surprise attack does. But you can see the difference in the movement speed. It makes a big difference when you have a uh, sork streaking around trying to find you, or you know multiple people trying to you know run you down and stuff. Especially inside of like an enemy keep, you know, you're running around. It's a lot more mobility here. Um, and then for the ultimate here, Temporal Guard, it's kind of a, a really good escape tool. Uh, saved me plenty of times. And while slotted, you gain minor protection. So it's, it's pretty nice. Doesn't always work. Sometimes it'll just not work for no reason. But for the most part, it's pretty de pretty good. So those are the skills I'm using, and let me just go over some passives though. All right, so medium. Why go? Why do I go seven medium? It's for these passives. Uh, this one. This is one of my favorite ones. Uh, reduce the size of your detection area while sneaking by five percent per piece of medium armor equipped. Uh, I, I like to be super sneaky. I like to be able to to run around, especially like I said, inside an enemy structures and whatnot. Uh, it's pretty nice. Um, sometimes, like if you're fighting like another ganker, it's kind of like a, a a quick draw contest in the old west. Whoever sees you know the other guy first usually wins. Um, I guess that's not really how quick draws work, but you you get the idea. You gotta be real sneaky, and then uh, athletics also is nice. Uh, reduce the cost of roll dodge by four percent for each each piece of medium armor equipped. Alright, um, here's one that I haven't really gone over at all in my you know, previous videos, is Ledger Domain. Um, the only reason why I wanted to get this to, to like leveled up was for this passive right here. Um, improved Hiding, reduce the cost of Sneak by, by 40%. Now this is really nice too if you're playing no CP or in Battlegrounds or whatever, because um, you can't you know get that uh, reduced sneak cost uh, from your champion champion lines but uh, this is this is pretty nice passive and again vampire mainly for dark stalker because I like to be I tell people you gotta be greasy you know you the whole thing is to be elusive not to not get hit because you know you can't stand and bang with people you're gonna you get you're gonna get beat up uh, supernatural recovery is pretty nice, but you know you don't have a whole lot of recovery anyway. But this this does help a little bit. All right, and the Khajiit passes feline ambush. Decrease your uh, detection radius and stealth by three meters. Really, I, I like this passive a lot. Um, it increases your critical damage by ten percent also. So. 
I feel like Khajiit has like the best all around passes for uh, for a build like this. But again, I've ran it on Argonians, and they have like probably the worst passives minus the the potion passive. Um, as far as ganking goes, uh, they're, they're not great, but you know you, you, it'll still work. So if you're an orc or a dark elf or whatever, you're just gonna you're gonna hit hard too. You're just not gonna be as sneaky. That's all. Oh yeah, there's one more thing. Alchemy. On all my characters, I level my alchemy just for this passive alone. When using potions, uh, the resulting effects last 30% longer. Alright, nothing too crazy there. Um, champion abilities. Alright, now with these champion abilities, I, I'm still kind of experimenting with different things, but this is what my current setup is right, right now. Uh, so in Warlord, I got 56. Sprinter, 35, which I'm probably going to change this right now. Put this into, into Befoul. Uh, Arcanist, 46. Mooncalf, 47. It's a little bit, a little bit more uh, recovery. Alright, uh, Shade. Uh, reduce the cost of Sneak by 20%. 20.26 whatever percent uh, so you got this plus the 40 percent from ledger domain 60 or yeah 60 percent tumbling i got 51 so i got 19 percent might add a little bit more there and then put this in a be foul bam yeah all right and then let's see uh, master of arms i got the 62 uh, this is going to increase the damage of your, you know, lethal arrow and all your direct damage abilities. And so this is, this is pretty uh, important to have up up there. Um, precise strikes, I got 56. Piercing, 77. Mighty, 75. As far as the warrior goes, uh, I'm still kind of messing around with this. Um, so right now I got 64 in the resistant, 35 in the spell shield. Ironclad 45, and then my uh, medium armor focus 46, and I really, um, I really just kind of threw these in here, um, only because I'm still you know super squishy anyway, and then Hardy 40, Elemental Defender 40, and then nothing in the Lord. All right, so that's the champion points. Um, let's see. Anything else? Alright, so that about covers the uh, update to the Gankalorian. I'll call this the Gankalorian 2.0 build. Uh, again, if you want to do straight up more damage, I would just swap out Marksman with, um, with Spriggins. But with the Marksman, you just get a little bit of sustain and you're still putting out some good damage. You guys, if you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below. Or just hit me up on Xbox or whatever. Alright, catch you guys later.